the ancient extraterrestrial alien technology in the pyramids found by Sir William Petrie. The writer says, thinking and inventing content with elements of creative writing, he says, I was amazed to see and read an article accompanied by a video claiming that British archaeologist Sir William Petrie had discovered ancient extraterrestrial technology found in the Giza Plateau in the pyramids. It sounds too exciting to be true. Well, we shouldn't be surprised. After all, the Emerald Tablets written by Thoth the Atlantean. Uh, I have a playlist for you. You should uh, listen to them as you're doing perhaps something else around the house um, because there's a lot of uh, technology, details concerning their technology there and philosophy of life. And uh, what happened before the sinking of Atlantis, a lot of Atlanteans went to other areas of the, the Earth uh, thought the Atlantean. The Atlanteans supposedly are are uh, from uh, off world from other areas of our galaxy, whatever. And uh, he fell in love with the king of Atlantis, uh, princess daughter, and uh, supposedly went to North Africa. And uh, one of the princesses there uh, was uh, said to have uh, relocated to. Algeria, Morocco area. That's according to Tuareg legend. She was tall, beautiful, uh, with blondish hair and blue eyes, whitish skin, and uh, very knowledgeable. And uh, Thoth claims, as far as the Emerald Tablets are concerned, that he claims he wrote, claims that he built the Giza Plateau and that he has his spaceship buried under a sphinx in the Giza Plateau. Now, supposedly there are two sphinxes there. One is found, we don't know where the other one is. There are a lot of things that are still undiscovered in the Giza Plateau. But going back to this, let it be that in some excavations, as it turned out in the 18th, 19th century, Sir William Petrie, the archeologist, brought to light mysterious findings which 50 years later could be timingly starred in ufological groups, whereas 100 years later they would trouble even ufologists and alien believer about their authenticity, which no official authority would admit existed. First, we'll try to imagine the event and Petri surprise, the ancient alien technology in the pyramids. It was getting dark, and at least Petri's colleagues from the excavation team brought him the first of a series of objects to be excavated, free of dirt and grime. They placed it on the big table inside the tent where he lived, near the excavation site. It was an oval table with reliefs, non-Egyptian hieroglyphs. In the center was the representation of a face, not human, with particularly large eyes that a few decades later could be described as pilots or astronauts' glasses. It appeared to have no nose, perhaps it was broken, with a small mouth and a very thin neck, as if from an outside air conditioner pipe. Petri frowned, but it was not the first time he'd seen Egyptian figures with the head of a crocodile, bird, dog, bird, etc. He guessed that maybe it was some animal that was either exaggerated for religious reasons or an animal that no longer existed to recognize it. What immediately caught his attention were the non-Egyptian hieroglyphs. He had never seen them before or simply could not remember where, no matter how long he processed and studied these hieroglyphs. It was late, after midnight. He already felt heavy and very tired. He took the round watch out of his pocket to check the time. It had stopped working. He shook it, but nothing. Let's remember those watches at that time were winding watches. They didn't have batteries. So he, turned, he tuned it, uh, but uh, it, did, it, remain, it still remained dead. It wasn't working. The second hands did not say, go ahead. He moved away from the object, intended to undress and lie down. He unconsciously took the watch out of his pocket. It had picked up again from where it had left off. And he was surprised. His fatigue left immediately. So he, he figured that something caused the watch to stop. And then uh, when he moved away from the finding the archaeological artifact, the watch started moving again, working again. He, he approached the ancient artifact relief with watch in his hand, and it stopped again. He put it in his pocket and bent with greater interest, 
over the object with the mysterious face of a figure, figure of a face, which seemed to produce this strange phenomenon. And then he noticed that the compass that was resting next to it there, a little further off on the same table, had gone crazy and was turning on its own, sometimes counterclockwise, sometimes clockwise. When did it stand motionless? When it did stand motionless, uh, when he, uh, he stood motionless, huddled, as if he didn't know which time to choose, and the same again and again and again. This was a real surprise. Petri could not figure it out that night, but neither for the next few days, nor for the next few months. He never presented this and the other items officially. Years later, he took them home to Jerusalem, where he placed them in a hidden room behind the library. Somewhere here, let's leave our imagination to land on more real things, and also the source of inspiration, Sir William Matthew Flinders Petri, as his full name is, was an English archaeologist an Egyptologist. He was born June 3rd, 1853 in Charlton, London and died July 28, 1942 in Jerusalem. And Petri, who had grown up in a Christian environment, had already been taught from a very young age how to carry out investigations accurately but also to be methodical. He had an unusual insight and an insatiable curiosity. This, by its nature, does not bind to hide these objects. Why would he have done it? Why did he hide this object? At that time, the phenomenon of UFOs and aliens was not widespread. Most likely, it was not even known. An Inquisitor.com article mentions, titled, Alien Egyptian Artifacts Discovered in Jerusalem, in a YouTube video, that claims ancient Egyptian sculptures were originally found at the Giza complex, but were allegedly removed from the Petri's house in Jerusalem by representatives of the Rockefeller Archaeological Museum shortly after they were found. The Inquisitor was able to confirm that the famed Petri Museum of Egyptian Archaeology holds a vast collection of ancient Egyptians and Sudanese artifacts, but could not confirm that the museum has exhibited, quote, alien Egyptian artifacts, end quote, recovered from a secret room in the house of Petri in Jerusalem. These usually do not impress and do not convince their followers, UFOs and aliens who choose to see evidence of covert conspiracies. Because if indeed the Rockefeller Museum or any other museum has these alleged artifacts in their possession, they will never be accessible to the general public. Alleged extraterrestrial Egyptian artifacts reportedly found in the stash at Petri's house, which link ancient Egyptian civilization to an advanced intelligent extraterrestrial civilization, include the following. Two mummified bodies, less than 1.2 meters tall, that's about, what, uh, four feet tall. Also advanced mechanical devices, including a gold disc with a transparent top found with the alien bodies. The devices had non-Egyptian non-ancient Egyptian symbols on them. Finally, stone discs were found that, quote, seemed to show alien spaceships, end quote. At Inquisitor, with option for a Greek translation, you can learn more. And uh, this has to do with the ancient alien, alleged ancient alien technology in the pyramids found by Sir William Petri, archaeologist, Egyptologist. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.